back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We have one of our favorite show partners, Mr. Jay Carnley of Hybrid Heat and Air. Uh, he is the man. He has a crazy jump shot uh, and one of my favorite people of all time. And a great beard. And his beard's not bad. It's getting there. Hey, that happened pretty quick, too, man. When you I don't think that? it's real. It's, I saw it peeling earlier. Did it? <laughs> and he got some duct tape? <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I want, you're our resident AC, you know, heat and air specialist. Uh, how much of electricity is consumed? Like, if you look at a CPS or electric bill, how much of that is your AC? Typically, we're seeing 70 to 85% of your Whoa. overall bill uh-huh. is your air conditioning and heating. That's Eight. a lot of box fans. That's a, a lot. lot of box fans, yeah. So what are some energy efficient options for homeowners? Some energy efficient options for homeowners would be um, mini split is a very good way to go. Um, obviously, a lot of the systems aren't running efficiently. We've talked before about duct work and everything like that. And people don't really like them because the way they look, but there's a lot of different options now, right? There are a lot of different options. You're talking about mini splits, right? Yes. Mini splits. So when I first heard mini split, I thought it was like what, what Bobby did in gymnastics. But but a mini split is actually like a European style uh, air conditioning unit that, that yeah. it almost looks like a wall unit, but it's not a wall unit. Yeah. Uh, when we went on vacation in Europe, they're everywhere. Over there, they don't understand central heat and air. Like they have, mm-hmm. everyone has a mini split in Turkey, Greece, Italy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, why is it really coming over here? You think? I think that uh, I think we're getting more energy efficient minded mm-hmm. here. Uh, people doing solar panels, doing foam insulation, and uh, they're trying to see ways to be comfortable without breaking the bank. Sure. And and the cool thing about the central HVAC system is that it's you don't see it. You know, like you see an intake here and then you yeah see random vents random vents there mm-hmm. so it's kind of like all in the walls and and it's not unless you know it's industrial then you actually see it but you, you're doing that on purpose mm-hmm. but for the most part it's cool because the duct work is is out of sight out of mind out of sight out of mind so the mini split kind of changes that a little bit though right it does when it, when they first started coming over here they were they were um, a lot of people were kind of like yeah about it because there was something hanging on the wall right um, typically they're about three feet wide they mm-hmm. stick out from the wall probably 10 inches mm-hmm. and about 10 inches tall also so uh, aesthetically it wasn't pleasing um, th- there are several units out there now that are providing um, ways around that some of them um, Bobby's even seen uh, look at look like pictures hanging on picture your wall. frames right yeah, picture so they, frames they, they're in the wall and when they're off they go flat to the wall and when the air turns on they come out of the wall like four or five inches and mm-hmm. they blow air all around it you can't see it but they work way better they're more energy efficient they so pull I'm, a room I'm, I'm picturing your master bedroom picture of me with a weenie dog on top of a horse or whatever um, and so it just it just comes out yeah and and then it blows mm-hmm. behind it like it actually blows a, like the the vents are around the frame that's right that's right and these are a lot of people refer to these as ductless systems um, right. and that's that's exactly what they are the reason one reason why they're so efficient is because ductwork isn't involved that's, they're just sucking from the outside well no they're they're bringing air back into the unit and sending it out so to it the bottom just, of the it, unit. It's, it's just, just circulating it's air. like that thing on top of your stove i mean on top of your stove right? pretty much yeah but, but except it's it's blowing out cold air mm-hmm. or, and they or also hot. have options like kind of like a standard ac uh, vent there's vents in the ceiling and there'd be a system right above it but you can't see it so there's a, it's it's regular now like it looks like a standard vent. yeah so they've gotten a lot more aesthetically pleasing yes and so let, let's, every room has its own unit so you can, if you're not using, like say at night, you can turn everything off and mm. you can just have the one in the bedroom on. Right. And you, you're you using way less energy because you're not cooling off a house that you're not using. So is that what makes it so energy efficient or, to, or walk us through what, what makes it so energy efficient cost-wise? That's that's one one thing that makes it energy efficient. The other thing is that <clears throat> the, the whole system, whereas a typical central AC system, you're going to have power on the outside unit. You're going to have power on the inside unit, mm. uh, two two separate circuits. Whereas right. this one, there's just one circuit from the outside unit and the inside handlers via picture frame or cassette that hangs in the ceiling. Uh, it's powered off that outside unit. So, yeah. So like, so what you're saying is that when I want to turn on my AC, hmm. um, it's going to be running all the time. That's right. right. Every room. Every room all the time. Right. It's going to, like, the big thing outside that can power the whole house is going to be running. Yes. But here, if I'm just hanging out in my master bedroom, then it's just going to, that one unit is going to just use what it needs. Right. That's that's exactly and right. And you can't hear them either. I don't know if you've ever been next to one. Like, they're on. You just don't hear them. You just feel it. And another thing that I want to point out to all of our viewers and why we think you're the best show partner of all time and, and, our, and our resident HVAC specialist is not everyone offers mini splits. 
Is no, that right? That's right. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. Um, they don't know how to, you know, inform the public about it. They um, don't have beards. They don't have beards, so no one can respect them. <laughs> um, but for the most part, you—I mean, you're one of the the you know only people that are that are offering this to the public in the San Antonio metro area. Yeah, we uh, we're we're very focused on efficiency. Um, everybody's gonna want air conditioning. We just want to provide it at the most efficient price possible. Price, for your, price, for your and clients. yeah. And so mini splits, you gotta look into them. The only way to do it that I know of hybrid heat and air. Check them out at hybridheatandair.com. You can also email Jay Carley at jay at hybrid heat and air or call him directly at 210 277 8087. Again, that's 277 8087. We're gonna take a quick break and hear from our show partners and do our weekly Ask Mr. Credit with Robin Allen. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, if you be a fan of our show. Um, Bobby and Jay-Z Radio.com. We're almost at a thousand likes on Facebook, so please get on Facebook. Bobby and Jay-Z Radio, give me a little thumbs up. We'll talk to you guys in a second. Do not move your dial.